So now we're going to show you, once all of your claims are developed, how to create the abstract for your specification. What we've done here is taken one of the Word documents for the specification of one of the patents in our resources uh, section, number 8615072, which is the patent for establishing a call section. So what you see here is the first claim in that patent. And you will notice that we don't have an abstract. So here's how you create the abstract. And this should be just about the place that you are in developing your specification now. Uh, you should have the claims finished and in your spec and be ready to create the abstract. So we go to claim one, the broadest claim. We block that claim, control C for copy, go down to the abstract section under that heading, put the cursor there, control V for paste, and now we have claim one after the abstract. The way that we do the abstract is we make a narrative recitation of claim one. So we put the cursor uh, here and we tab we delete the uh, claim number and we have a user operated system for causing a landline telephone to dial a destination comprising we want to say to dial and destination includes instead of comprising take the colon out and all the spaces out Includes a mobile telephony device having a speaker and an internet dual tone multiple frequency dialer. We'll make a comma out of the semicolon and a dialer extension integrated with a microphone up to the last semicolon. Make that one a period. In the wherein clause, wherein a telephone number is selected, we make a new sentence, capitalize A, and we say a telephone number is selected on the mobile telephony device. So it is the claim language that we're using, but we're simply converting the claim language to a narrative form so that now we, we restate the claim, but in a narrative way. A user-operated system for causing a landline telephone to dial a destination includes a mobile telephony device, a dialer extension integrated with a microphone, and then another sentence that says a telephone number is selected that says what it does. And we have the abstract. And that is the way that you do the abstract. Simply take your broadest claim, copy that claim under the abstract subhead, and do a narrative form of it. Uh, recite, use the line, you know, take the numbers away, indent, and take the comprise out and just say has or includes and put the rest of the language in and we just convert the claim language to a narrative form for the abstract. Any abstract in any patent application can be done exactly this way. One other thing you need to know is that an abstract is limited to 150 words, but we can block this abstract and Word will tell us down here 86 words out of 7,262. So we're well under the 150 word limit. If we were over, we would have to take some, um, some words and some phrases out of the abstract to get under 150 words. So that's it. That is the simple way and the, uh, that can be uh, practiced for any patent application for constructing the abstract of the disclosure in your specification. And now that you have finished the abstract for the specification for your patent application, you're ready to go to the navigation pane and go to the step 13 to create the summary. This will be the very last step before you file the patent application and will complete your specification.